All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make data validation so that we don't allow people to enter the same thing twice in a column. So we don't want to enter duplicate something in a single column. So this could be really anything. I'm going to go with, let's say, names. We want to make sure that, see, there's Anna, there's Bob, there's Jerry. So I want to make sure that if somebody types Anna again, it doesn't let them do that. So to be able to understand how to do this, you may want to watch my conditional formatting of duplicates. That will give you a good idea, but it's gonna be a lot similar to what I'm gonna be doing here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna do a formula count ifs next to it because we're gonna use a formula to actually do the validation. So I'm gonna check in the range. So I'm gonna do the range like this. And then I'm going to change it to the same A2. So it's like a range of one cell, comma. And then I'm going to do as a second condition, the same cell, close parentheses. So here I'm going to do a couple of creative lockings. So I'm going to lock all the columns, column A, column A, column A. And then I'm also going to lock this first two on top, the first row reference in that range. I'm going to leave the other two row references right here as an open reference, just like that. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to drag this down a little bit so you can see what's going on. So basically we got one, 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 we got two for this Anna, which was a duplicate. Now if I do Anna again, it's going to be three. If I do Bob, see it's the second Bob in this column. And if I do like Jerry at this point, it's going to be the second Jerry. If I do Pete, it's going to be the first Pete. So this formula allows us to find out which occurrence that is. So basically one means it's the first one, two means it's the second one, three, it's the third one. So what we can do now, we can convert this to a true and false formula. So if I take that and check, is that number greater than one? It's going to say false. And if I drag it down, see every time now it's a duplicate of Anna, it's going to give me true, 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 and true. With data validation, however, we need to get true for values we're actually allowed to accept and false for everything else. So what I really need, I need to make sure that these falses are trues because these are the ones that are allowed. These are not duplicates, but these are actually false because those are the ones that are not allowed. Uh, so we may also do some sort of if statement to check this blanks. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem, but let's try this and then we'll find out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and put this inside of a function called not. First of all, not for this whole thing. So now if I drag this formula down, you will see I'm going to get exactly the opposite. I'm going to get true for everything that I'm allowing to do. So these are allowed things. These are not so falses. So it seems like this should be fine because this is true. So blanks should be allowed too. Awesome. So that makes a formula that gives us true for things that are allowed and false that are not. So now we should be able to use that formula to apply data validation. Now, first of all, I'm just going to clear all of these things from here. And then I'm going to go here, copy this whole formula, not including the equal sign. Well, actually including the equal sign. I take that back. Copy that, escape, and I'm going to select, see the formula was copied from the second row. I'm going to start selecting from that second row and scroll down. So as far as you want to apply your validation, I'm going to go row 75. That's good enough for me. I'm going to go data, data validation. So the criteria is going to be custom formula. And my custom formula is going to be whatever my formula was. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to reject input for anything that doesn't pass that. So I'm going to hit save. And now we should have validation. I'm going to do command up. I don't really need to keep this formula right here, but I'm going to keep it for now. Let's try this. So I'm going to do Anna. Cool. No problem. Bob. No problem. Jerry. No problem. I'm going to try to enter Bob again and see, can't do it. So because that was a duplicate. Now, if I enter Peter, no problem. If I enter Jerry, that's a duplicate. Can't do it. So there it is. So that way we can apply validation to not enter duplicates. I don't really need this, but just to remind you, this was the formula. 
Now we're going to take that and clear that. And this should still work the same way. So if I do Bob, can't do it. And that's our little data validation to avoid duplicates. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.